all right say how's it going so today we're gonna get into uh, a Weber webinar jam and the perfect webinar script so I, as you know I've been doing a perfect webinar framework I've been following the perfect webinar framework from Russell Brunson to create my Tuesday webinar that I'm doing uh that I'm planning on doing for like you know a year and that webinar is is going to continually being improved and one of the things that I have to do this week which I haven't done yet is set up some proper email sequences follow-up emails uh you know the emails that come after the webinar so I mean we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so I'm telling you there's a lot of differences between these two books now the expert secrets the first copy right the the paper I, I got the paper back here but and then the second edition here I got the hardcover but then nothing to do with hardcover softcover but the first edition had only a hundred and well only it had you know 268 pages and the second edition's got an extra 150 or so 268 and this one has 353 or something like that right so almost to 150 more pages <clears throat> and the, and you know he's changed lots of things but one of the things that he hasn't changed is that he has left the perfect webinar right in there right so I mean he's talking about uh the perfect webinar and all the different things that you got to do he talks about uh this is expert which one is this if, if he adds I got to go find the perfect webinar in here but uh, yeah so if you're listening to the audio of this by the way go make sure you go check out the full video and the blog post at cis two uh, six seven cis two six seven dot js g a g n o n dot com go check it out so that's going to be the full video and the blog post as well so yeah so the stack and the close he talks about the different closes in here uh, I'm not going to show you the book that's not the point but I'm just kind of going through it to try to find some of the notes I need to go through but I mean if I look at his this uh let's actually share the screen let me just go back here and share you the screen so I'm actually going to go through right now the process of so this is the perfect webinar funnel framework now he's got it here the more recent version I guess because before that he did have only one webinar a week but this is a replay so he's got the replay he's doing the first webinar on Wednesday and then the replay on Friday uh well an encore replay it's an encore live which is a replay of the recording uh but it's still uh done as a live webinar so depending on the platforms you're using and all that it's obviously going to change but you know what you need is these emails right here we've got these emails that he's sending emails he's sending here emails he's sending there and then there's you know in indoctrination pages which aren't really anyways it's a separate thing so he's got these pages that he's got set up that he then sends people emails to to go check it out right and these are the emails that go after the webinar has been you know is over right so the so in other words anyways there's a whole set of things but even even before you get there like if I look at uh if I look at these notes I have here right I mean you're going to have to create a welcome email you're going to need a day two email you know before a day three email so these are like reminder emails right before they attend the webinar and then after the webinar you're going to need some emails depending on whether it, they attended whether they missed it whether they attended half of it you can do all that it's it sounds overwhelming but you know if you just just know you got to do do those con that content then how to set it up is is can be overwhelming can be complicated but it also can be simple if you know how to go step by step how to do it right so we're going to talk about that that's kind of what I'm going to cover in here as well as kind of how to do that right so I'm using webinar jam and aweber now if you're using different other platforms maybe it well obviously it's going to be slightly different but it should be there should be the similar kind of 
you know thing that you can do with that right okay so <laughs> let's uh let's get uh, let's get to it so first well let's go to webinar jam I'm going to show you in webinar jam if I go to my browser over here uh which uh, which one is it this one here so that's a Weber right here I'm going to go into a Weber uh, not a Weber webinar jam webinar jam <coughs> log into there okay so um in webinar jam you've got your webinar and I'm just going to go edit this full okay so I've got this webinar that's set up to be Tuesday right uh, actually I'm recording this it's tonight but it's going to be every Tuesday so you can always register uh, if you want to see how I'm putting all this together you want to be part of the whole process and understand how all the webinar the perfect webinar framework or how I'm putting it together whether I'm doing a good job or not you can actually go and register I would love to have you there just if you want to just give me feedback on my process on whether I'm doing it right and you know where I should improve and that kind of stuff I'm certainly interested in hearing any kind of feedback so you can just register at twohourworkday.com that's where you're going to register for that if you go there you're going to end up on this page twohourworkday.com you can end up on this registration page right how to be omnipresent on social media like Gary V that's the webinar I'm doing and uh, you can just register there anyway so that's that's the, the re webinar okay so how does what are the things you need to do to make sure you're integrated with your Aweber first in integrations you're going to want to go in here and you're going to want to configure whatever email uh, responder you have in my case like I said I've got Aweber I can go on here and kind of show you so in here you've got two things <laughs> you have to do first you gotta you gotta have a register event right if they register right if they register then you choose here your then um, add to list right so add to list I have a list I created in a Weber so that's uh the first thing that happens if they register I want them to be added to a list right uh, secondly and you know more than secondly I guess um if I have these left I, I create these tags right so I'm actually going to write them down because I need them later on so attended attended webinar I might want to make these tags more very specific to the to this particular uh, to this particular webinar I, I probably should uh let's do that uh I'm going to call this omni I'm going to edit these and change them all to omni and then there's a left before before one hour and stayed until one hour 15 minutes I'm gonna call these all on me okay so <coughs> I'm gonna edit this attended webinar on me okay <coughs> webinar on me and you'll see why I'm doing that in a second okay I'm gonna just add all these tags to this okay so the, the so this is the first thing you need to do right so you need to have tags um you need to have tags so that you can trigger these events in the Aweber right well we'll show you how to do that in a second okay so now you got your tags and then I just go finish and go to dashboard okay so in in webinar jam it's really that simple I mean oh there's another thing oh, I should have showed you that too there's another thing in a in webinar jam you can actually set up your own sequences right so now I'm going to go and uh, is it in here no it's not in here notifications so in here there's reminder notifications and I've got these pre-webinar reminders I mean you can probably leave those there I suppose last minute 15 minutes and then post 12 hours 48 this is the webinar replay you probably leave all those there and I I'm not sure I'm going to have to um I'm gonna have to look into how do I you know cancel these and just do the Aweber ones right but I'm not I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to do that but for now I just wanted to show you these are here as well the default 
you don't have this many all you have is this immediately I think these ones are not there the one hour before the 24 hours before the 15 minute before and then post webinar right and you can actually if I go on edit here right it kind of shows me your you have we have recorded here's the replay enjoy it right and you can actually add things and you can do not really sure I've not really used this editor but I guess you can add images and you can change the text color and you can do things like that uh, and then it shows you what what you can do in here replay link to replay uh, time date attendee email last name first name <laughs> presenter description yeah. so I mean and uh, that's the that's the um the emails that you can send through here so they're not as I guess they're not too bad you could probably put some images and all sorts of other things in there so it's probably not as bad as uh, what I thought but anyway so that's the um reminder emails that you can send out directly out of webinar jam and as I said if you're not using webinar jam you're using something else obviously uh, it's going to be different but so <clears throat> there should be some similar stuff <clears throat> all right so next part is in your um in your aweber you're going to want to go to that to the email list you have where is it it's uh, called what's it called it's called the two hour is it t yeah the two hour workday is my uh, is my list so I'm going to go out into my campaigns so what you want to have in here is you want to have a bunch of campaigns now I haven't done any yet so this is going to be my opportunity to actually do it so as you can see in this in these notes right we have to set up campaigns and we have to create the emails right so we, the list is already created uh if you don't know how to create a list it's you know pretty straightforward you go to list here and you say add list and then you add the stuff to it after you've created the list you then have to um then you go into a webinar jam and you actually integrate to that list now I don't know if you noticed in the settings I had a place where you chose there was events right upon registration subscribe to a list so that's what that is right so it'd be this list here so the welcome campaign is the one that they first get when they uh, sign up right so I'm going to say I'm, I have this email here that's that says welcome to the two hour workday uh, is that yeah it's waiting it's going to load up <clears throat> is it loading up or not it says waiting for there you go okay so the welcome email is uh probably something I need to to change uh let's actually change this to uh, well, I don't know maybe I just uh add another let's do this like this take some of this text down from here okay and there you go put that in here I want to put that here because what I want to do is I want to add another image <clears throat> and I'm going to upload the Gary V image that I used on my this one <coughs> the one that I put on the uh, actual capture page right <clears throat> the registration page just so people can kind of recognize it right um, oh, I guess I can't okay so um and then this is kind of my my you know picture I have anyways I'm just going to save that like that so that the, the the wording is important I gotta do I gotta work on the wording but for now I'm just going to create the basics to kind of show you how that works and uh so let's just save and exit this so now I'm going to need uh so I got one I need four campaigns okay I need a registered campaign which is this one I need a watched somebody who watched just one out to one hour and didn't finish the webinar somebody who actually watched the whole webinar and somebody who missed it right so I'm going to create a new campaign I'm going to call it just I'm just make it blank this is going to be uh watched so uh attended attended live full webinar okay so just like this uh when the tags applied so the tag is when they watch to the end it's called stayed until one hour 15 minute 
underscore omni so that's the tag I created whoops omni so that's the tag I created in the webinar jam integration so that means that whenever that tag gets applied to the person that's the aweber does uh, not aweber but webinar jam does that when the attendee stays all the way to the end this tag gets added in aweber and then aweber will trigger this right so what's what do I want to do I want to send a message right I want to create a message <coughs> and it's going to be a drag and drop and then it's going to be it's going to load up there the editor and I'm going to say thanks I don't know I probably have to fix this thanks for attending the full webinar <coughs> appreciate you taking your time so I, I probably I'm going to need to you know write these up properly but taking your time to take your time taking your time and spending it with me I hope you enjoyed the presentation <coughs> if you haven't already done so the the reg the uh the link to get started is start dot two hour work day dot com see you on the inside see you on the inside anyways like I said this is definitely not the content I want to have but this is going to give you a it's a first a draft so I'm going to just save that and now I've got this right so that's an email that they got and I'm going to apply a tag actually I'm going to wait whoops so I'm going to wait a day say I could wait a day then I'm going to add my tag these are my tag this is my tag that I apply to everybody who's who's been in my list for a few days or or so that they get to start receiving the um the daily emails I sent out right and so that's that's the webinar the attended full webinar right so I'm going to save that and I'm going to activate it okay so now I'm going to create another one it's called this one is missed whoops missed webinar right somebody who missed it <clears throat> so whoever missed it whenever I apply the tag this is going to be uh, missed webinar so you see why that tag is showing up in my pull down is because I've I've had it in my list but this missed webinar omni is not there yet because nobody is this is a new I just changed it right so what do I do I send a message and then I go and say sorry you missed it you might be able to get the replay <coughs> so sorry you missed becoming omnipresent like Gary V Okay, so this one is I noticed you registered to my webinar and let's go get that text because that's in another file I have it into here is that in here yes it is So my title that's my webinar title right here so you missed my webinar okay <clears throat> I I understand things happen we get busy and, and forget our schedules well we get busy <coughs> and get busy okay um you mm, should you might 
if you hurry let's do that if you hurry you whoops two hours <coughs> you might be able to still see the replay <coughs> replay dot two hour birthday .com. see you on the inside okay so I'm just going to do that like that that's fine <coughs> um I think I'm not sure if I have to uh hmm. okay anyways after that I wait uh day apply tag I'm going to call this Seinfeld there we go Seinfeld and save and exit okay so that's uh let's activate this one now the next one I actually should probably go and edit this one because I don't want that tag anymore because really it's going to be applied based on whether they attend or not and uh, remove that and then in here I should have my other indoctrination emails right that are part of the whole the whole you know here's some info maybe to get them excited to actually attend the webinar right <coughs> so I'm just going to do that for now but that's where that okay so then we said we also wanted so we have the watch to we have the watch to end and we have didn't attend we have the register so the only one left is the only watched an hour of it right so left left before one hour so there so now this one here is again the tag the tag is going to be called left before one hour underscore omni okay and then and then I'm gonna go and send a message create a message <clears throat> I noticed you couldn't stay until the end and sorry that you had to leave early whoops early. I know that it can happen that we are often unable to we are we that we often have different different things competing for our our attention <coughs> if you uh have another obligation but you want to see the end of the webinar you might still be able to watch the replay the replay if you hurry go check check it out check check it okay so to that's replay hourworkday.com if you hurry no, oh, you. I do that all the time right? I always put a o bef a u before the o all the time I don't know why I do that it's like my typing right I do that so so often so that's that one there and okay so that now we have okay well actually I'm going to save that so now we have our four campaigns which are really you know they're not they're not good enough I need to go and, and put the right text and put the right con the right content uh but that that's the four emails then then okay let's take a look at the what did we have for notes here so okay so we got the welcome email we got the I don't have a day one day two or day three right after webinar attended full attend a half missed it right so I got all these um didn't attend watched all right attended full and half missed it 
oh okay registered that's why I had that I had four but there's only three but that's because I have this is one <laughs> the welcome right so welcome so registered so registered so I got a welcome a day two and a day three right so after the webinar so there's one here and then there's three more right there those are the four sequences right okay so now we have the sequences created and I I need to go create the content I'm not going to do that here we're already at 25 minutes but I kind of wanted to show you the integration between these th these well these two tools using the perfect webinar framework so hopefully you got some value from this um, you might be wondering about other things like for example uh, you noticed that in my email here um, in my email I don't know if I, can I see this email no I guess not I'd have to go and edit it and everything go in here if I go here you can't really see a preview oh there you go yeah so you're going to notice in here I've got this actually I should probably it looks like I can't it looks like it's not showing me the links I gotta actually set the links up let's go do that I thought they were automatic because they were you know links but they're not so let's just take this url right here and see the replay let's do that there and then save so now we have let's just see what the preview looks like now does it show me the link yeah okay so yeah so I gotta have the link I actually have to paste the link so that's that's fixed there so now I have this one let's go do the other ones because I forgot that uh missed preview oh this one is the one that's done okay so this is the one that's done and then this one here left before oh I didn't add the uh, tag here <coughs> I need to add the tag to all of them <laughs> otherwise <coughs> otherwise they won't uh, work right sorry about my yawning okay so now we're doing the uh the link here I got to do the same thing well I think I already have it in my buffer let's just do that there you go save okay so I've got that here <clears throat> okay uh and then the welcome the attended live full I might have that in here do I have that in here oh I clicked the uh, okay yeah this one doesn't have it here either right so this is the one get started there we go okay so that's that that's that save that okay so I just want to make sure I have those so I got Seinfeld here I don't have a Seinfeld there but I have the missed I have the before one hour and the live okay good so now I have them all set up except for like I said the content is not really not that great so what I wanted to show you is I have in here right uh, I've got a link right that says um oh, oh, what I want to do is this this one here I want to preview okay so what I want to show you I had a link here that's called start that to our workday right and then in the other one I've got this one that says missed it right missed in this one in the email I've got replay that to our workday and if you notice if you if you notice I I have the basic you know this link here right this link the two hour workday is the link to register so how do I how do you how do I do all that right so I use it's basically your DNS provider which is where you normally would buy your domain it could be different but anyways that's that's techno geek stuff but if I just go to my zone edit which is where I have my domain hosted and created 
there all the all the domain uh, manage, management sites are similar it's all about a c name and you know whatever a url redirect that kind of stuff so if i go to my uh, two hour workday here and i look at this i have these different dvns records right so this is register this is replay this is my start link and this is my uh again the star and the at I've got the same thing which is the register to the current webinar so every time every week I go in here and I do a clone and I create a new copy of the previous week's webinar and I go and get the link right over here I got the registration link right over here and then there's a replay link well there's no replay in this one but if I go to this one there's a replay link here so uh select session okay and this is my replay link so basically every time a webinar I finish a webinar I go and update those links I get the replay from the previous link previous week and the uh the registration for the new week right I put that in here and then that means that when I when I put replay dot or just star which is anything else webinar or 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 or, or go or live or whatever I could have this uh, go to this register link right for any of those uh things I could have in here I could have a you know live or YouTube or something where I would maybe have the YouTube link right here to the to the recorded recording that I download and put on YouTube if I want to give somebody so for example if I wanted to give you a replay that's on YouTube instead of being in in webinar jam because if you go to the webinar jam replay you can't fast forward or pause or anything right but if I put it on YouTube for you you could do that right depending on who you are I might be like well you know I know you're you're just going to do this to give me some feedback you're not you're not going to buy my thing maybe I'll just send you the YouTube link right so then I can get I can put a YouTube right here with the link to the current replay right so I could do that and so that's the domain side of things uh yeah oh, okay well anyway so that's my perfect webinar the actual like if I if I look at this you know if you if I go back uh in Aweber you've got these you've got these <laughs> campaigns that you want to create right these campaigns you want to create and then you go to webinar jam and you've got your webinar settings over here and you go into your integrations under integrations you go here and then you go to Aweber you go configure here you set up all these things you say I register now I might want to have some more in here I think I did want to what did I want to do I thought I thought of something else that I wanted to do is there something else remove from list add to list what are the they missed oh they purchased your product they leave before they stay until the end <coughs> if they join the live all oh, right the replay that's what I wanted to see attended the webinar they attend the webinar replay that's what I wanted I want to add then add a tag I'm going to call it uh attended attended replay underscore on me okay I'm just going to call that creep rule there you go so I created that so that's that's kind of what you do in in a Weber with the perfect webinar framework and and yeah so hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions always reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom Ooh. some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time